Hello, welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. All right, so we've got a question here, and it's dealing with the context of AP courses in high school. So let's just read through it. And as I read through it, because there's so much happening, I'm going to underline stuff and write it down. So let's see what's going on here. At Andrew Jackson High School, students are only allowed to enroll in AP U.S. History if they have already taken AP World or AP Euro. Okay, so you can't get in U.S. History, it says, unless you've done the World or Europe, uh, European History courses first. All right. So there are 825 seniors. So I'm going to write that down. Helps me think about the problem. And what else? There are 165 who took AP World History. Okay. 165 took, I'll, I'll just write AP World. And then 66 took AP European History. Oh boy. All right. So 66 took AP Euro. And 33 took both. Okay. So we're getting there. Okay, given this information, determine the probability that a randomly selected incoming senior is allowed to enroll in AP U.S. History. Okay, well, so in order to figure out if they can enroll in AP U.S. History, let's go right back to the beginning. It said here, what did it say? AP U.S. History if what? They have already taken AP World or AP Euro. So we've got to find out how many took AP World or AP Euro. And how do we do that? Well, let's call this um, AP World, let's call this our first event A. And let's call this uh, AP Euro B. And both will call that A and B. So we're simplifying the whole process. And we're saying, well, if they took one or the other, that's a union question, so I'm going to put my union notation in there, then they can take AP US History. So how many did that? Well, that's going to equal the probability of A happening plus the probability of B happening, that they were in world or euro, minus the intersection. They took both. And the reason we're subtracting is not because we want to ignore people who took both. It's that we're double counting. Because here, let's say we have a Venn diagram A and B. When I say, let's look at all the people who took AP World, we're looking at all these people here. We're looking at AP Euro, we're looking at all these people here, and you can see that if there were people in AP World, the first thing we counted, that were also taking AP Euro, they would be in this spot right here. So we counted them the first time, and then we counted them again when we counted all the students who are in AP Euro. So we double counted the intersection, this piece right here, and that's why we subtracted, right? This is being double counted, this intersection here. So long story short, what do we do? Well, we've got 165 who took AP World, we've got uh, 66 who took Euro and 33 who took both. We add up A and B and it's a probability and they're all out of 825. And that's going to give us the answer. It's 198 over 825. And this right here is the probability because if they took one or the other, right, the probability of that occurring means they're eligible for U.S. history. All right, thank you very much.